oysters taken fresh from the sea, from the, from the rearing beds, 75% of them, they could detect norovirus in them. 75%? Mm. Now, that doesn't mean to say that 75% of them are going to make you ill, but they could detect some level of norovirus in three quarters of the samples they took. Oysters live in estuaries, like this one off the coast of Falmouth in Cornwall. And Kate's going to get some. Morning. Good morning. Which one of you is Tim? Yeah, me, I'm afraid. You? <laughs> Hello. Please How are you doing? Okay. Pleased to meet you. So, we're here to go and dredge some oysters, Hopefully, yeah? Hopefully, yes. This salty Hold dog on. has been oyster fishing for over morning. 25 years yeah. and knows this stretch of the Cornish coast like the back of his hand. We'll bring you back some oysters. <laughs> Tim knows exactly where to find the wild native oysters. Gosh, it's rough, isn't it? Ah, what is this? <laughs> Tim, are we? You're safe, don't worry. I'm just looking at Lana's face and she looks like she's about to fall in. <laughs> well, that's the engine stopped. I'm going to put the dredge in the water now. And when you say dredge, what? Dredge. It's just metal framework. It's not changed in design since the Roman times, really. And when this thing is full of shells, it must be pretty heavy. It can be very heavy, yeah. I bet you've got some muscles under there, eh, right, Tim? <laughs> he has, you know. <laughs> we'll pull in the dredge now and see if we've got an oyster, shall we? So, you don't have to leave them in for very long, eh? No, no. Just keep pulling them one after the other once we start. Tim, that is heavy. There's not many in that one, are there? Look at that. Have we got any in here? The net drags up whatever's on the seabed. What a little crab! Yeah. Face <laughs> oh, God! That's a lovely oyster, that. Face lovely. Of the sea. You can't get a fresher oyster than these. Surely now's the perfect time to eat them. So, Tim, yeah. could I eat this oyster now? Well, I wouldn't recommend to eat oysters out of the, out of the dredge, because we get... In case you get impurities in the water, an oyster is a, is a filter feeder, so obviously filtering through the oyster. So this oyster is essentially just a little filter. Mm, yeah. And so therefore it will suck in all of the water around it. Yeah. And then whatever else is in that water. Well, absolutely, yeah. You would probably be uh, laid up in the bed for a couple of days, I would have thought quite poorly. Kate's bagged herself some fresh oysters. But before she can tuck in, they've got to be cleaned out. But how? Hello. Hello. You Kathy. must be Steve. I am. Hi. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Oh, you're cold. <laughs> I'm absolutely freezing. Do you know what I've been doing? Been out with Steve Tim. Keston is a specialist supplier of oysters. Let's have a look. Oh, you've got some nice yeah, ones. Yeah, look at these. So, Steve, would you eat this oyster? Now? No, I wouldn't touch it, as it is now. Really? It needs to be purified, and it needs to be purified by a method that's going to remove Nora. Norovirus? <laughs> the dreaded norovirus. Really? Yes. Wow, so that nasty winter bug that can have you throwing up for days, mm. hugging the toilet. The Food Standards Agency did a survey a year or two back and they found that oysters taken fresh from the sea, from the, from the rearing beds, 75% of them, they could detect norovirus in them. 75%? Mm. Now, that doesn't mean to say that 75% of them are going to make you ill, but they could detect some level of norovirus in three quarters of the samples they took. But Steve thinks he's got the remedy. So this is their purification tank. The water's circulating, it's being aerated at the far end, it's passing through this mass of oysters and then pumped back round again via a UV light to kill anything that's in the water. By enabling the oysters to self-clean in these seawater tanks, Steve can significantly reduce the risk of them carrying the norovirus. Unfortunately, testing oysters is notoriously difficult, so no one can ever be 100% sure their oysters will be virus free. How long do my oysters have to go into that tank for to be purified? The Food Standards Agency require me to purify them for a minimum of 42 hours. Really? Yes. Wow. All this kit around us here is yes. because of yes. sewage contamination. Yes. Until we stop dumping sewage into the seas, We've got to purify them. So ultimately, Steve, it's down to us and our number twos. Without that, the seas would be pristine and these little guys would be living in the oceans, very happy, and you could walk along the beach, pick them up and eat them. 
Our sewage is treated before it's pumped into the sea. So either it's not being treated effectively, or the norovirus is craftier than we think. Kate's going to the government agency, Public Health England, to find out more about the norovirus. I'm here to see Dr Adak. Bob Adak is an authority on viruses that lurk in our food. Ah, Dr Adak. Hi, Kate. Hello. I'm good. I've been on a little journey about oysters. Lots of oysters, up to even about 75% of them, can contain norovirus. Depends on what time of the year you look and where you look. I wouldn't say all oysters would have that, but, um, yeah, we know that there's norovirus in oysters. We know there are outbreaks. We always have an outbreaks after Valentine's Day. Happens every year. Really? You go out, you have a nice meal, you have oysters, you're an aphrodisiac. Two days later, you're vomiting all over the place. I mean, somebody said it's uh, the Ferrari of viruses. It certainly is very efficient. What happens is, not very pleasant, but when people get norovirus infection, they have they suddenly become sick, they vomit, and they vomit quite violently. And although you clean up the vomit off the floor, off the table, what you don't realise is that there's a fine mist of vomit in the air. Oh. And after, the, <laughs> after you've cleaned, cleaned the vomit <gasps> up, this vomit settles onto the desks, land on anything. It can land on your cat, can land on the cushion, on your TV set. Now, it, so if I entered a room, though, where somebody with norovirus had vomited, I don't know, a couple of hours previously, mm. I could very, very easily contract You, you could very virus. easily pick it up without knowing. During their chat, Dr Adak has been conducting an experiment with some UV dust to demonstrate that eating a contaminated oyster can not only make you sick as a dog, but potentially everyone you come in contact with. Now, what we've tried to do is replicate how norovirus spreads. I had it on my hands. When we shook hands, I spread it to you, and now if you'd looked in the mirror, you'd see you've got marks all over your face. That's how the virus spreads. Look at the state of me. <laughs> exactly. I'm covered in it. Not only is it highly contagious, it's difficult to test for, and it's baffling scientists by mutating all the time. So is eating an oyster like playing Russian roulette? Kate's going to ask a man who sells 40,000 of them a week, is it worth the risk? Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you, Kate. So I've heard some great things about you. Good. You are the Oyster King of London, I, this well, I hear. I, I, that's very kind of you to say so. If, if you're going to ask me whether oysters are safe, I'm going to say, yes, of course they're safe. We sell a lot. We sell a lot in our restaurants, and it is very, very, very rarely that we get a complaint with an alleged food poisoning. Like all oysters on sale in Britain, robins have been filtered to the FSA stipulated period. But according to the government agency, there is still a small chance that the norovirus is present. But Kate's prepared to take the gamble. And I'm pleased to report that a plateful of oysters later, Kate is as fit as a fiddle. It's absolutely delicious. You knock one of those back and you just get that... You get a whoosh. 